So problem number 3052 for the this Sportster. This is how to diagnose a gas leak that's going on as you let off the throttle. I would notice that a bunch of gas would like leak off of the side and after pulling everything off I realized it was coming from this little boot right here. And I don't know if you guys can kind of see that little black piece right there. It's really not a seal, it's just a boot that goes over your accelerator pump. Not when I would turn the throttle, because I would let off of it. It would just flood this whole area. And so what it actually is, is if gas is coming out of here, out of that little boot right there, it is your accelerator pump diaphragm. Super simple to get to. You have this little plate at the bottom, it's three little screws, you pop it right off, you're gonna have a little spring that's in there, so be careful not to lose that little shit, and then you're gonna have this diaphragm, and chances are that it's gonna be torn. And I'm gonna throw up a clip right now, I have a pretty good clip of the old one. The good news is, is that you can simply buy a rebuild kit of your carb, it's a, just a simple CV carb. Most cruisers, older Sportsters, older Harleys are gonna have a CV carb, 16 bucks from my shop. And on top of that, you get all the other pieces. So when other shit breaks, you can just, you know, you got it already, it's all you gotta do. Boop, doop, boop, boom, doop. Is pop that bad boy right up in there and it should kinda stick, cause there's a lip in there. So you just want to press it in there, and if you have this off, chances are, like, mine was really dirty, it had a lot of black shit all up in there. Just cleaned it out with some carb cleaner, you don't want to put your spring in. I went ahead and replaced this washer as well, this little uh, gasket, since it's, it's already going to be coming off. You want to make sure that it seats into the diaphragm, right? You're just going to hold that in place, and then you're going to put your three little screws back. Be very careful not to strip those screws, because I can only imagine it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. If I get that screw out or find a new one. Hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, that's not where it goes. Huh. This is a really simple fix. Save yourself the hundred bucks taking it to a shop. Seriously, rebuild kit, put on a new diaphragm, especially if it's torn, that's gonna be most likely be the cause if it's leaking out of the top of this little boot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten these up, test it out, start up the bike, put the air filter, everything back on, and hopefully it won't leak any more gas. So the final verdict is that the bike is 100% more responsive than it ever has been, and I'm pretty sure that this has been an issue a lot longer than I've had the actual leak for. If you know that your carb's pretty clean and you've run cleaner through it and everything like that, and now you can't seem to find a problem, and if a gas leak pops up where I was showing you, then you would definitely want to change that accelerator pump diaphragm. Get it checked out, because the bike sounds fucking amazing. Go ahead and start it up here for you. So I hope this video helps out anybody who's got a gas leak going on. Hopefully you can get a rebuild kit and replace that part and then it'll be a way, way better. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. Otherwise, you guys have a great weekend. Peace out.